this little child that doesn't realize that witches in real life don't look like they do in storybooks. In this book, it turns out that witches look just like regular women, and that turns out to be a very important thing for this boy to notice and helps him through his life. The boy does turn into a mouse. The witches turn the boy into a mouse. And it's about how he keeps going and he goes back to his grandmother and she is there for him and he continues to go on. Someone's going to turn you into a mouse and you can do something about it. A big part of this book is that adults do know things, so unfortunately at times it is good to listen to them. And I think that's a general life rule that he is very aware of and he sneaks in there in a way that's actually fun where the, this little boy is listening to the adults and finding out the truth instead of not paying attention. As an adult, when I started thinking about this, it's really funny to think of him writing about this a long time ago, especially in a children's book, and that's what makes the book so much fun to read, that the idea of all these women coming together and taking off their masks and that they're witches and that they literally want to destroy children is just fantastic and it's such a great commentary on a societal paranoia about women gathering that goes you know, back in history. You are your, your essence and even if you're a mouse, you're still you. This boy doesn't ever get to undo what was done to him, but he embraces it. He becomes a, the, the best mouse and he's still himself and that's the magic, I think, why we love children's books that we don't know anyone in real life who's become a mouse but it makes us feel as though if that happened to us that we could still go on and that your heart and your soul are so different from your body and the limitations in the world.